All right, in the last tutorial, we just finished doing the vocal range compression on our audio. And so now what we're ready to do is start importing all the other different parts we need and do a multi-track edit. So I'm going to go ahead and right click over on that on the uh, files window and I'll come up to where my audio assets are and I'm going to import some of the different things here. I've got the voice over middle and intro. Um, I've got the Taylor Swift blank space, the fields of gold, and then I've got some different sound effects that I might use as well. I'm going to go ahead and open those all up. Now some of these are mp3s and some are waves and it's okay that some are mp3s because those, those are what you get when you download things. And uh, I want you to notice that most of them are at 48 and some are at 44.1. In order to deal with the ones that are 44.1, what you typically do is you open it up, and if you go inside of this audio, and here's what that sounds like, by the way. So I'm going to use that, and what I'm going to need to do is convert this to 4800. So I'm going to right click and go down to Convert Sample Type. Or you can also do, uh, what is that, Control T? And I'm going to change it to 4800 just so it's like the other. I could go ahead and make it mono, but it'll be okay in stereo. It's pretty fine. And there you go, we've got that. Now it'll also show me that by having this little asterisk on it, it shows me that I've made an edit to that that needs to be saved. And we can do that with just Control S. Now I also need to control, uh, change the news sound here. And here's the other one. Boy, that's cheesy as can get, but it'll totally work for this. So I know that that's the section I'm going to use. I could go ahead and delete the other if I really wanted to, but it'll be fine. I'll be able to do that in editing as well. So I am going to go ahead and convert this to 4800 as well. Beautiful. And then I can save that. And the last one I need to convert is the Sting Fields of Gold. So I'm going to go to that one, convert the sample type, and change it to 4800. A little bit longer song. And save that. So now all of my audio is set to 4800, and I can close that if I really want to. And the next thing that we need to do is start a multi-track edit. So let's do a, a new multi-track session, and let's make sure that we're saving this um, given a name, of course. Let's see, this is the uh, radio show. And that would be the date that we were doing it. So it's 1-23-15. Um, so 2015, 1-23. 23. So that might be a really good way of making the name so that we know exactly what it is. And I'm going to browse and make sure that this is in the proper folder with my other stuff. So I know it's in this audition tutorial folder. So that's where I'm going to save it and hit OK. Now, what this did actually was make a brand new um, folder for me. If I want to go to the actual place where this stuff is saved, I do want to point out one thing that as you start to use this, you'll see a bunch of these peak files, PKF, and those peak files are what give you the audio levels in Audition. So here's the folder for that that I just made, and inside of there is a session file. And so just be aware that the audio files need to be somewhere close by because they're associated with the same project. Just be aware of that. If you lose these audio files, then you can't continue to edit. So I've got the session file. I'm going to double click on it, and that opens it up in the editor. Now, what I know is that I've got my first track up here, and I'm just going to click on that name and change that to Voice Over. The next track down is going to be my music track, and then I'm going to have sound effects, sound FX, underneath that. Now, we have some other tracks. We really want them, but I'm not going to worry about them. Now, the easiest way to start dealing with the voiceover is just drag the different parts that you want. So here's the first voiceover part, and then here's the middle, and then I can bring in the ending one as well. There you go. So the nice thing about having these separate pieces is that it's very easy to just drag them wherever you want them and change the timing. Now, if you brought in the entire thing, that is the entire full edit, so here's the full voiceover. 
then what I would want to do here is actually razor edit the different sections that I need. So, whoops, I didn't want the, I didn't want to double click on it. I actually want to go back to the, let me close that and double click on the session. Ah, there we go. There's the razor tool. Now I can click on that and make a cut there and make a cut there. There we go. So I've got my cuts at different places and now I can go back and then start adjusting these different pieces. And if I want to get rid of a little bit of that sp space before and after, a little bit of that timing, a little bit of dead space, I can do that if I need to. So the nice thing about this is that your recording stays in one file and then you break it up into separate little pieces for adjusting, moving around on your timeline. You really will never be able to get the timing set up correctly unless you did cut it into separate pieces. And this allows you to just drag things left and right. Now, if I were to drag things over the top of each other, you'll see that Audacity, I'm seeing Audition, sorry, will create an automatic crossfade. And that's really kind of cool. Now, let's go to the next thing. I know that Sting is going to be the first song. So, I like kind of like the intro of it. I know that. So I'm going to go back to that uh, session file there. There you go. I guess I just need to figure out which one it is. There it is. There's the radio show right there. I'm going to bring in Sting Fields of Gold. And I know that I'm going to cut that after a little bit of time. So I'm going to cut about there. And I can always adjust that timing afterwards. Let's see what it sounds okay. like. I'm your host, Jonathan. Today we've got loads of news and... Ooh, I forgot. We have to have a news anchor part. So that's the news sound effect. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to cut right at that one. Boom. And that's actually our first audio. I forgot about that. There we go. And that will be right there. And then that will be later. So let's hear that. Welcome to... You can even move that back a little bit. One thing with audio editing is you typically want to overlap things. Welcome to the Music News Radio Show. I'm... So now what I'm going to do is then bring back that song. And I'm going to actually have it kind of just start right afterwards. What's nice about this is it's got some music that kind of fades in. And I'm going to just fade that in slowly over time, which is kind of cool. And let's hear what that sounds like. Your host, Jonathan. Today we've got loads of news and gossip and, of course, lots of new songs and great music for you. Let's start up with a new song by Sting. Alright, so that's really awesome that it has that nice little intro. And so we can take our other songs and move them back. Let's finish, see where that ends. You remember me when the west wind moves. Great new song by Steve. That one's gonna be a classic. Alright, so there's where it kind of comes in. So I'm gonna start fading out right after the word cotton. And then that's where I'm gonna bring in that other voiceover. So as that's fading, the voice will come back in. And then I can move that back out. And I know I need my Taylor Swift songs. So let's have her come in right there. And I'll get a little bit of of the little sound of her before she starts. Let's see. And then I'm going to end her pretty quickly. So let's cut there somewhere. Ooh, cut right there. Fade her out. And then bring that voice over back in. And let's see. Songs and great music for you. Let's start up with a new song by Sting. And I'm going to jump over here. Upon the fields of body, Great new song by Sting. Soul. That one's going to be a classic. So we might need to adjust that a little bit more. You'll forget the Great new song by Sting. That one's going to be a classic. Did you hear that Taylor Swift has a new song too? Well, here it is. Nice to meet you where you and then we go to the end of that. Like my next mistake, Thanks for listening today. And just adjust that. Thanks for listening today, folks. Come back next week when we explore the music of the 80s. With my 
So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save that session and let's go on to the 